welcome, welcome everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is the weekly foresight for the second week in June, which is June 7th through the 13th. And this week is all about the Knight of Wands. And this is from the deck, the Gilded Tarot Royale, which is a gorgeous deck. And the Knight of Wands. What came through for me when I did the reading at the beginning of the month was, you may feel ready and willing to charge into this new world with a great passion for a quick victory which is what will happen. But just be sure to keep your energetic armor on as you move quickly ahead. And as you can see, he is fully engulfed in armor. This will help you feel fully charged and ready for all the blessings waiting for you to discover them. So that is what came through for this card, which is the Knight of Wands. And it was just, even though it looks like there's a lot of chaos going on, when you are fully charged, when you have your protection on, then it doesn't feel as much of chaos as it could if we didn't have our energetic armor on. So just be aware, be prepared. When you go out, put that armor on. And I've heard from a lot of people that it, it's feeling very heavy. It's feeling like when they go out to the grocery store or out for their essentials that they need, that it feels heavy. It feels like once you get out of that space, you completely feel drained. If that's the case for you, a lot of times what happens are what called energy vampires. So people may not realize that they are sucking your energy, but maybe because they aren't full themselves, they are just taking it from wherever they can. And they don't necessarily do it intentionally or do it with a negative intention. It just happens. Um, but when you protect yourself, when you put your energetic armor on and you go out, then that is going to help to protect yourself. Now, some people that are very empathetic, empaths, light workers, earth angels, a lot of times they feel the need to help as many people as possible. So even if you put your protective barrier up, sometimes we just want our energy to kind of leak out. We want to help as many people as possible. And with that thought, a lot of times we just send energy just willy nilly and we're not we're not protecting ourselves first. So if that's the case, what you can do is when you know that you're going to be going to the grocery store, you know you're going to be going to wherever it is that you need to go, and there's going to be multiple people there, just know you can see divine's ray of light, a golden white light shining down from above. And this golden white light can touch anyone that is needing an energy boost. It can touch anyone that's willing, and if they're taking your energy, apparently they're willing to take energy, that this energy can touch as many people as it needs. It's infinite, it's from divine source, and it's true light. So it will help to lift them up easier and effortlessly, and it will feel better for them. And so it may even it may even decrease the amount of chaos that it feels like outside out in when you go out and about. And it may even feel like you are able to keep your energy raised as well. So people around are going to feel probably lighter and happier because they're fully charged. And so that just helps everyone. And you're not having to deplete yourself by giving energy because it's coming from divine source. So try that next time. If you're feeling very, I know some people say, I go out and I'm out for two hours and I'm exhausted when I get back. I have to take a nap. I have to go to bed early. So just know that you can see that. And as you see that, it 
you're not depleting yourself. It's coming from limitless divine source. <laughs> All right, so the energy for midweek. So midweek is from the 7th through the 10th. That energy is going to be coming from, and I pick the cards from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck, which is a great tool for learning a lot of stuff. And this card is number 41 or 5, and it is the Rainbow and what this really says to me for this overall week is find treasure in these moments. Find treasure at the moment you're in. Instead of feeling like you have to travel to get to that, that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, know that your treasure lies within. Your treasure lies all around. You are an abundant being and that is one of the divine laws and so you can find that treasure from within and around your space it's yours it's in your path all we have to do is open up and see it it may feel like it's unseen but it does truly lie all around you and if you need help finding your treasure call in your spirit team your guides your angels ascended masters your totem animals or spirit animals anyone that you feel connected with and ask for them to help you find your treasure and then the 10th through the 13th so that's end week so that card is number nine and it is completion i'll post these cards so that you can meditate on them for yourself as well so you can really see them and get a sense for them but what it says to me is what we really need to acknowledge and with this new world, it's coming on fast. I, it, it felt like it was coming up fast, like we were going to be just kind of put out into this world. And it feels a little scary because we're going into this new time with our new self and this new world and everything's new and that's great, but we haven't experienced that since we were little, since we were little going about our business of creating adventures and seeing new things and seeing the wonders of life. Now we're being asked almost to be put in that position again, even though it's been how many ever years that you've accessed that inner child and allowed it to play and to explore and to, to sense the newness of everything. And so it's a little scary. And so some of us want to backtrack. We want to backtrack and go into old patterns, old ways of being, and that's not what we're supposed to be doing. We're actually supposed to be letting those things go and welcoming in the new. It is scary. I know that even if you're passionate about something, sometimes it feels a little scary, but all things come to an end. There's that whole cycle, and we're at the end. We're at the fullness. We've been, we're at the fullness of the old, and what we're needing to do is release it. Let that go. It needs to transform and we need to allow it to transform. We're seeing an old form be transformed into new and we can let that go. Even though it feels hard, we can let that go. When we have stuck energy, and we don't allow it to let it allow it to let be let go what happens is we stay stuck we kind of almost i hate i hate saying that because it sounds bad but it's almost like it rots us from the inside it rots our happiness it rots our joy it dissolves it it doesn't allow for the space of creation it doesn't allow for the space of um of that letting go and the space to welcome in the new. So release it, let it go. It's had its moment. It was there when it needed to be. And now we can let it go. Now we can let it go back to the light, be transmuted and put back into its original source, which is divine love. So we can let go of that old stagnant. We may still have little bits and pieces 
around us at times, or we may feel like we want to go back to the old ways or the old patterns because it's comfortable, but it really isn't when we're staying stuck and we're not moving forward. We're not, we're not transforming such as a butterfly transforms. We've had our cocoon time. We've had our time in that cocoon. We don't want to go back to being a caterpillar. It's time for us to fly as butterflies. So grab onto that energy. And if you need help, you've got your allies, you've got your resources, you've got your spirit team, you've got your higher self, your soul self, your spirit self, you've got your friends, your family, you've got so many people that are willing and ready to help you, whether they're seen or unseen, they're there to help call on them at any time, including your angels. If that feels easiest for you, call on your angels. Call on your whole spirit team if you're really needing some help. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. As always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.